Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to take a look at the newly released Jump Love in Pokemon Go PvP. We play here some friendly battles against people from Twitter. Again, we right now don't have Great League or any league like in general where we can use the Jump Love available. So I went on Twitter and I just asked random people to battle me and they also used like of course a lot of stuff that would have been very strong against my Jump Love because they know that I'm going to use Jump Love here. You see a Celio here already. We face so many ice types or fire types in general. So like this is definitely more like a tough test for the jump love, but we can see how good it's gonna be here. And in general, or like in general, like how much damage it does, how the animation of the new moves looks like. And here we have a nice Cobell League bug again. But we're gonna be able to swap out here into the Steelix and we can do some nice damage here. Um, of course, you see like on the bottom all the time when I do Chris, of course, I played like during the C day as well while I'm spinning stops with my Go Plus at the time and like catching Pokemon with that. So that's why you see that on the bottom. But in general, I have to say, I think that Shadow Jump Love, I think Shadow is important, by the way. Shadow is very important on Jump Love. You really want a Shadow one while the normal one kind of sucks. But yeah, Shadow Jump Love seems to be better than Tropius. In the closer position this is like the thing here right now that's why i built this team like i built this team here right now like usually you play uh, like you played this team in prior seasons before with the um trophies in the back instead of the jump love but this kind of got outdated like people are started running the venusaur instead nowadays and yeah it's, it's still like a very common team like very og team but um in general, like the jump love has just way more closing potential. You have way stronger charge moves, which usually sucks when you don't have like bait moves or anything like this. But in the closer position, that's exactly what you want to do. You want to close out a match with like strong moves when shields are already down, most likely. You have like Pokemon like the G Fisk, which has a nice neat move and a bait move, and the same with the Sableye here that also have a new move and a bait move that both basically get shields from opponents usually. So you can go for the hard hitting acrobatics now on your bulky grass type there and do a lot of damage. I think this Pokemon has a lot of potential in Go Bad League. Yeah, of course here we don't know in which ranking my opponents are. But you see a lot of teams here that are really really strong against Jump Love usually and I still only lost one game and the one game i lost the dude had basically three times ice coverage on his team which was kind of annoying and double charm so hmm, yeah this was not the most fun but of course we also have like battles like this where we face a meow stick which is maybe not the best representative battle then but we had a lot of full meta stuff with like Poison Double Dark and all those very common lines as well. I didn't see a lot of people that really built like teams just to counter my jump love luckily. Like I only faced like one two. Um, but yeah, that's like always the thing as well. Like they know that I use jump love anyway. So you always have like at least some Pokemon on the team that beat that hard. Which most likely you want to encounter in Go Battle League as well. There's stuff like Skarmory completely wards the jump love of course. There's nothing you can do against that thing. But now I definitely think that the C Day move is worth it. You definitely should get one. If you can get a Shadow One, try to get a Shadow One. I think it is a very important to get a Shadow One. Like the damage output of that thing is just insane. And you we had like some crazy matches here where we also flipped like a switch against some Pokemon where I didn't expect that the jump love would have done that much damage and would have been so good. But yeah, here for example against this Grafty, of course we have easy play there with our acrobatics. We are still bulky, like we are shadow, but we are still super bulky. We have like 2300 stat product. I think that's basically the same as Azumarill and the Umbreon. Like they have very similar stat product to those Pokemon, which is crazy. And we are shadow version still, which does then a little bit more damage. So it, it, it's just very, very good. It's, it's just such a good Pokemon, to be honest. I really enjoyed using it and I was actually surprised how strong that thing is. It has so much potential, so much play. And here we have Nidoqueen here, that's Nido Double Dark. And this was actually a match where I was like, okay, this thing is insane. We can go for an Earthquake here. This Earthquake gonna get the shield from my opponent. We just swap immediately into Jump Love. I was like, okay, most likely I'm not gonna be able to get Switch here, but both of my Pokemon in the back are pretty decent against the Nidoqueen anyway. He gets to another move here, it's totally okay. We can actually tank two foul plays even though we are shadow and we can go for an acrobatics. How much does it do to a Sableye that is also XL? 
it just completely destroys it. And we're gonna be able to realign our Pokemon, even though it doesn't really matter in this case, and have a way better time in the end game because we already see the Warren here, which would have been the hard counter for the um, Jump Love. That's something that you're also gonna see right now. I think if Jump Love would have came out before the C day for the War Rain, Jump Love would have been like completely meta and like everybody would use it because it also like destroys Trevenant and things like this. But right now, because we already have the War Rain C day out and people are gonna play a lot of times of War Rain because it's the best Pokemon right now in the league, you're gonna see a lot of people that are, yeah, I don't know. Like gonna destroy you with that thing. But even then, like if you have energy already, an energy ball does a lot of damage to Warren as well. Like it's nearly gonna one-shot it. So it's also not like a uh, lost hope there. But here we're gonna be able to win this game with a two shield flex thanks to the um yeah, what's it called thanks to the jump off there. And here we have Warren in the lead, all fine. Actually plays like I know that this dude is I think a very, very good battler as well. I remember his name definitely. <laughs> but still, we have this ice type here, and um, he baits me here, which is totally fine and also a nice play. I shouldn't have shielded that, to be honest. I think the shield was very, very unnecessary. I think I still would have actually survived an earthquake, but I'm not sure. But I think I would have. And we can just go for a shield here again. He baits me again. Like, if he didn't bait me one time there, we would have been totally fine, but he baited me twice. I was like, okay, I'm gonna go for three more quick moves and then I swap out. You need only two more quick moves for the Earthquake. <sighs> At least we're gonna have now still a decent matchup in the back. Oh, a Wiggly Tough also has Ice Beam, but it wouldn't have mattered anyway because, like, here, yeah, a uh, play player would have also KO'd. We get him really low with the uh, Acrobatics there, but sadly, just barely not in the range where you can farm him down. If we had one shield, it would have been so nice. But surely we still have like a chance in the back there with our Sableye, we still have energy. He gonna wait a longer time here to come into his last Pokemon. And we're gonna see another Ice type. <laughs> and another Charm user. Yeah, he went for the degen route, but I mean you face stuff like this in Go Battle League as well, all fine. Um, but yeah, this was the one game that I couldn't win. The rest of it here, this dude is also cool. Like I know that I have this dude for like ages already on my friend list. Um, he also always basically sends me battles, like thanks for that, like big shout outs to you. And such a cool team, of course here we have also the charm user there, but the Bronzely is actually so so cool. And also is really good against my team, like Bronzely can do stuff against the Jumpler with the Rock, uh, the rock fight here. And also against the G-Fisk with having Earthquake plus Counter. So <laughs> yeah, I actually should have stayed in I think in the beginning matchup because I would outspeed him to the Earthquake. So that would have wouldn't have been the worst play, but he also has Lugia in the back. Such a cool team, like it's such a fun team as well. I really enjoyed playing against him. And here, Lugia, I was thinking, okay, maybe you have Hydro Pump. Hydro Pump would have been a little bit of a problem there, but as you're gonna see now, he's gonna have the Aeroblast, and this is totally fine. I think I'm actually gonna go for another charge move. I don't think I had to go for that. I think I could have just found them down. Um, but yeah, we still have this match up here. I'm unsure how much the Rock Side does here. It's stab, it's a strong move. We are Shadow. This thing has a pretty high attack stat. We're gonna shield once here. Hope we can get to the energy ball in time. We cannot. How much this is gonna do? Not enough. Jump Love is just still too bulky. Easily survives this Rock Slide. Super effective, stab from the opponent, nothing is fast, uh, we're gonna be able to win this game. This game was also crazy, I think. Deoxys defense, it's totally fine there. He was just scratched here, okay, maybe it wasn't this game, there was like one Deoxys defense game, maybe it was this game, who knows, we will see. We go for the return, oh no, it was this game. Um, we go for the return, we're gonna put a lot of damage onto him, and I was like, okay, I'm just gonna farm down here, I got the move through. I hope he doesn't go for the power up punch. And now it's gonna come down to the wire. We saw with one HP and we go for the return. In comes an obstacle. Totally fine for us. Our jumbler should be able to beat it pretty easily. There's nothing really that this thing can do. Maybe if it has gunk shot, he goes straight for the night slash. All fine. He gets the boost. And at this point, things change. You think, do you? We will see, because Jumpluff is actually a pretty decent Pokemon, so 
We're gonna be able to go for the energy ball here as well. We're gonna have him shields down. We are shields down. But even though it's double boosted, we're still gonna be able to survive this Night Slash from lower than half health. We would've been easily able already to win this game if he didn't get the boost there easily. We could've just trumped him down. But now we have the Deoxys Defense still against our uh, Stunfest, but we already have some damage from him because we get like the Shadow Claw damage off him, I think, before. So we just only need one more rock side here to KO him. We're gonna be able to win this game. And good game to my opponent. That was a crazy one, like jump love against this boosted obstagoon. Oh yeah. Next up, we're gonna have the Umbreon here. And I remember this dude as well. This dude ran a very interesting move on Umbreon, which is the Dark Pulse here. Something that I also considered running maybe someday, but right now like I'm fine with my moveset with my foul play. I like that the foul play is four turns for the first move, three turns for the second move. I think that always like kind of puts the opponents off guard. This does a little bit more damage with Dark Pulse, which is also a nice um, thing. But yeah, like you can run either move on it, both are fine. And here we are lucky that we can farm down there. I think the game lagged for him there. For her, I don't know, like I'm not gonna assume like gender or whatever. Um, but we're gonna see the icy wind from the diff, Drift Blim here and we're gonna see the lag. And this completely put me off guard there. We're gonna try to go for the foul play, but I lost a lot of HP, but my opponent didn't lose HP. So I guess my opponent got way more damage on me and like fast moves on me than I got on him. And now we cannot really align our Pokemon correctly. So, I also had some lag by the way, by throwing there, we're gonna lose CMP against a Dugong with our Sableye. Such a nice feature of this game. And we can go for the Rock Slide here. And we're gonna get the last shield, but still gonna come down to the wire. I'm gonna try to shield here and get to the last move, but he's gonna swap out in time. And yeah, it seems like he didn't get more damage on his Drift Blim either. So I guess we, got, we lost some moves there, which is kind of unfortunate. He still has to throw here, which my opponent definitely recognizes here, which is cool. And we can go into our jump love, try to farm down and try to swap here right now. I have no idea how I couldn't swap. This swap was just up there, but I was not able to swap even though it was like perfect timing. We still got a move in there and we can go for the last move acrobatics there, even though the other move would be um, super effective. Of course, I just wanted to show off the new move here. Um, but yeah, like so far, I'm really impressed by the Jump Love. I think it's such a good new Pokemon. It's also definitely meta, especially in like smaller metas. I think this thing gonna be insane. I think it's gonna be one of the best closers actually. And also like you have to play against the Geofisk and the Azumarill, which is also really cool. You're still gonna survive, I think, one Ice Beam, especially because you are a uh, XL version, most like the, um, what's called the Azumarill as well. So it does less damage for both sides. But here we actually bake my opponent correctly and go for the Earthquake. Gonna KO him. Good job there. And we see the Mage Gem coming in. I shouldn't have went into this Pokemon. I should have went into my own Jump Love. But it is fine here. We're gonna be able to get at least a shield here. Okay, with this thing. We're gonna see the opponent going for a move here. I just gotta let it go. I wanted to close this match out with my Jump Love. He goes for the Energy Ball. I'm gonna be able to go for a Foul Play. This is gonna be either KOing him or giving me a shield. He just let her go, we can go for one foul play. And my opponent decides to shield, which didn't help him because we still have the nice acrobatics in the back and this ice punch will not KO me, I still have a shield. We can go for the acrobatics, that's gonna be a good game. And again, Jumpluff as a closer, I think gonna be insane. It just feels so good already. It's such a good Pokemon. We have another Ice type here, but in the lead where I take this with my Stunfisk and he goes into the Jason. I was a very, very slow on the switch here. Um, the thing here right now, I'm just gonna be able to tank any move anyway. I'm gonna so I've even a Shadow Ball. I can just get switch advantage back. There's nothing that he can really do here. And what I can also do here is because I over farmed, I'm gonna be able to get to another foul play, which seems a little bit like unnecessary against the fairy type but this actually puts them already into the range for one rock slide and this is basically all I really want and here I had some lag again and I wanted to go for the move but didn't work out couldn't swap in immediately 
doesn't really matter like i can just now take the time and farm up to one hand energy i'm gonna let it go and this is gonna ko him now thanks to the um work from the saber eye before we can go for one earthquake gonna get the last shield and here is nothing that my opponent can do anymore we can just go for the aerial uh, the aerials uh, i just want to say the acrobatics and we saw that the stone edge doesn't care or come even close to that he has to slowly go for another move this also did actually less than i expected at this point i didn't expect that credilio would be that bulky but we just have to hit a one more move here and we would be able to just let every move go and go into the g fist go for one rock side and ko the opponent and that's exactly what you're gonna do we're just gonna let this go we actually survive this grass not here, which is funny with the 1 HP and a dream, which you can see there. We're gonna be able to go for one next slide, gonna be able to win the game. Thanks to all the opponents that try to battle me, you should definitely try to get one, especially if you can get a shadow one that's a very, very good for Go Battle League. See you in the next video and have a great rest of your day and play the community day.